Pisces. Hi, this is Psychic Tracy Brown coming to you today to do your July 2017 horoscope. Please email me for your own readings and that will be at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com psychic tracy t-r-a-c-e-y brown at yahoo.com please subscribe to my youtube channel how are you pisces how are you today okay so i am looking into pisces for the month of july please show me pisces for the month of july father god Please show me Pisces for the month of July. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Um, for Pisces, be careful of blowing smoke. I got a puff of air, which looked like hookah, hookah air. Um, be careful of blowing smoke. Okay, be careful of blowing smoke. Be careful of blowing smoke. Be careful of what you say. Be careful of how you say it. It will backfire. Um, also, Pisces, be careful of pain in love for the month of July. There is some pain coming. And it feels like the final, it feels like, it feels like, it feels like the finale. I'll say it that way. It feels like the finale. But I feel like there's been three blows and this is the final, you know, this will be the finale. Pisces, you have an opportunity to fall in love. Choose love. Choose love, Pisces. Also, there is some Pisces that has an opportunity to invest in the entertainment industry. Pisces, try not to be confused. You're very, very confused. Pisces, try not to be spoiled. Try not to be a spoiled child. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm getting a page of swords... It's because there are two different types of spoiled children. There's the girl version, and then there's the boy version. Pisces, you're going to have a temper tantrum like a bratty boy, not like a prissy girl. And it, that could be worse, the bratty boy, than the girl. So, be careful, Pisces. Okay? Temper tantrums are not necessary. Fight like an adult, not like my feelings got hurt and I'm so mad. I'm so mad. That's what I feel like Pisces is saying. But I also feel like confusion ends. So, Pisces, be careful of not seeing that you are loved or that people love you. Be careful of not seeing that um, because something happens really, something happens really, really fast. And the, the, something in the entertainment business or the limelight will show up for Pisces. And it's fast. It's like on you. It's like, you know, it's like, Door open. Go through. <laughs> Time is now. Go ahead and invest. Oh. I see this piece of hair sticking out. It just bothers me. I'm going to fix that. Um, there's an issue of morals. Moral compass. And the pillars mean that the compass... I don't know. It means a couple of things. Okay, so there's an issue of moral compass here, right? The pillars mean standing on one strength, right? But if you look at the pillars, they're kind of on stilts, which we normally don't see with pillars, right? Most times pillars are deep in the ground, right? 
because grounding, grounding the ground, that's where the substance, that's where life is formed. You know, in, on, in our earthly plane, life is formed in the ground, right? So when we want to build on something, we put products in the ground and then build up. This one doesn't seem to have the dirt around it, which is what is fuel for the strength. This also has a moral compass. Now, interesting enough, you know, I don't normally point things out publicly, but privately I will. So, this is kind of like a priest or a pastor or um, someone in authority. That's what the picture represents. Most times it could also be a monk. But in this case... Um, the person is sitting awkwardly, you know? It's an awkward position. And so it, does it represent my moral compass, the way this person is sitting? So if you're a monk, we tend to sit with our legs like this. If you're a priest, you know, the legs are closed. If you're, you know, a yoga teacher, you know, there's certain positions. He's not quite in the right position, this person. But he's holding up a semblance of a cross. He's also holding up a sense of authority. Um, and he, he wants to give you the representation that I'm the key. I'm the reason. I'm everything. All right? Now, this person... Pisces could represent not you. It could represent someone else that is saying, look at what I'm saying, not what I'm doing. Okay? But the legs bother me here. And the pillars bother me here. And the pillars are not in the ground. Now, interesting enough, in a whole nother reading, this won't have the same outcome. This has this outcome for Pisces. I might get this same card in another reading, mean a totally different thing. <clears throat> so, the point that I think I'm trying to make here is, Pisces, be careful of the temper tantrum. Because the temper tantrum could miss things. Eyes wide open. Don't miss things. Okay? Because messages will come. And you are protected by the Most High. So spiritually, God will reveal all. But you have to allow God to reveal all. On His time not yours. The red represents passion about something. And very little white is shown. And white in my world is always about God and spirituality. But remember that it's a robe this person has on. And the robe has to come off. In this case, Pisces, the pillars have to taken down, kind of like in the Roman era where all those beautiful buildings couldn't stand because they represented, you know, an evil sense of uh, power. So, let God in. Keep your eyes wide open. And this all comes out after the entertainment industry comes through. So remember, we're talking about the entertainment industry, which is corrupt. It is. And so once they show up, then you have to readdress um, the moral compasses of everybody. 
be careful of presenting a spoiled five-year-old boy's mentality. Stay adult, stay focused. But confusion does end after you step into an entertainment aspect of a situation. Interesting, Pisces, you also got the High Priestess. And the High Priestess in my cards, and the High Priest, a very, very similar cards. They're called cover up cards. And I have a series of videos where I explain these cards. You're all welcome to look at them. Because um, I took care of the major my arcanas, but I carry these as cover up cards. Okay? So there's bleeding of spirituality. There's bleeding of spirituality. This one is passionate about staying things as they are, status quo. This one is could represent you, actually. Oh, 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 I love spirit. This is representing somebody else that's passionate about their moral compass and what they believe in. And don't look at them. Don't look at what's under the um, robe, even though the way I'm sitting is a little suspect. Hope you guys know what I'm talking about. But this one, you notice how her legs are crossed. She's more confident. She's much more intuitive. She's looking at you like this. She knows. And she knows things. And she's documenting. And she's much loved because something comes in via the entertainment industry. Um, and she's passionate, which is the reason why you have all the blue. And she's a deep thinker. Very deep thinker, which is why you have the moon here. The cat energy, interesting enough, sometimes... In this case, is evil energy sometimes. Not because it's a black cat, but because it's a cat. So if any of you know, I'm going really on for Pisces, but it's okay. If any of you know um, cat energy, cats are wonderful. They love you. They want to be petted and like this. And then for no reason, they strike and scratch your face and scratch your arm. Like, cats are crazy. That's what this kind of represents. It kind of represents... I'll cut a bit. <laughs> You'll never know I'm coming. I need you to grow into this Pisces rather than this spoiled child. I want my way. Nobody's listening to me. I need you to grow into this. This is the one that wins. And this one falls in my attitude. So it totally makes sense. You can have temper tantrums all you want. Do it in the privacy of your home. Don't let nobody see it. This is the woman that needs to be presented as the public image. Remember that. Time will take care of everything. You will spend a lot of time not knowing worried, emotionally depleted. You will spend a lot of time, especially in July. July is not your friend. July is where you take Pisces, you take your emotions and tap into cancer energy. Because cancers can be a little bit of a, you know, bitch. Tap into their energy emotional birthday month and you will come out swimming. You will be okay. Alright, Pisces? Have no fear. I don't know if I should pull more cards because this went on for 14 minutes and I never do that. A big sacrifice could turn into a bigger issue. Alright?
July's not your favorite month, Pisces. But you'll get through it. There will be victory down the line. It's a difficult month. The more cards I pull, the more I realize it's a difficult month. Be careful of any challenges that could compromise you, Pisces. You're not in the mood of, you know, for being challenged. All right. Um, you are in a process of growing. You will get light on, period, Pisces. You will get light on, period. Suck it up. You will win in the end. All right. You will win in the end. All right. Pisces, enjoy July. Um, be this woman. Be her. If anybody wants to know what exactly this, the high priestess is about, let me know. I can inform you on what it means to garner up this type of spiritual strength with passion and still be very still. Because this perception, people need to see this. Period. All right, Pisces. Call me. No, email me. I said it again. For your own personal reading, Psychic Tracy Brown at yahoo.com. Bye, guys. Subscribe, please. Thank you.